Hi, and welcome to Dottotech. There isn't too much in the world of technology that I pine for, but HDTV, that is the exception to the rule. I'm in the same boat as many of you. I'm looking at this fantastic technology with a combination of wonderment, desire, confusion, and bewilderment. We've seen some very remarkable developments in high definition over the past few years, and it's quite exciting from my point of view. You've got improving technology, falling prices, and swelling screen sizes. That's a fantastic combination. Unfortunately, buying and setting up an HD system has become a very educated process because there are a lot of competing technologies for you to consider, and you need to match your system to your needs. So our mission today is to look at the gamut of high definition, discuss the technology behind the screens, and answer some of the questions we all have about the world of high definition. We could not have come to a better place to compare all of the available technologies. We're at Samsung's beautiful high definition display suite, where we can have an up close and personal view of all of the key technologies. This is where it's at when it comes to the world of high definition for two very good reasons. First up, Samsung is one of the few manufacturers that makes all three key high definition technologies. They make LCD displays, plasma, and DLP projection TVs. The second reason is Samsung is the number one high definition brand in the world, so we might as well feature the best. When you walk into any store, be prepared to hear a myriad of opinions of what you need and what's best when it comes to high definition. And no two opinions are exactly the same. You need to think about high definition as a process, not as a single product. First up, you need your high definition ready display. Then you need your high definition sources like a cable box, satellite box, or Blu-ray disc. Plus, you need to connect everything with cables that are suitable for the high definition signal. Then you need a sound system to complete the whole HD picture. But everything starts and ends with the display. That's where the rubber meets the road in the land of high definition. And as you know, you're going to have to make a lot of choices to get your selection of display correct. And it's becoming a little bit overwhelming. So we're going to make an attempt to make you well aware and well prepared so you can start off your high definition dream system on the right foot. Of all the numbers and terms that you're going to hear people bandying about regarding high definition, 1080p, that's the one you need to know. 1080p is the one you need to understand. In the high definition world, the screen resolution is described by the number of lines of resolution. And full high definition has 1,080 lines. Now you're going to see some high definition TVs on the market that contain 720 lines of resolution. And don't get me wrong, they're spectacular. But full HD at 1080, you have even more enhanced picture. You have one and a half times more scanning lines, which means far greater detail. Now what do you have when you have better than spectacular? You have words fail me. So in full high definition, you have 1,080 lines of resolution. That's the number you need to listen for. But <laughs> there is one other variable, and that is interlaced video or progressive scan designated by either I or P. So you have 1080i or 1080p. Now, interlaced video only actually shows you half the information on the screen, or what you see as the image, every 1 60th of a second, which is really fast. We're talking nanoseconds here. And we don't actually see the image changing because our eyes actually stitch the two alternating fields together. This creates a smooth image. Now, interlaced video is not quite as good as progressive scan, which paints the whole screen at once, but it does take up less bandwidth. So for applications like over-the-air high-definition broadcasts from your cable or satellite provider, 1080i is as good as it gets, and it's very good. You get to enjoy full 1080p when your source is a Blu-ray disc player, but we'll discuss that in detail a little later in the show. So if you want to experience true high definition, and why wouldn't you, you have to start with 1080p. Say it after me, 1080p. Now, when we return, we're going to look at each of the three key high-definition display technologies, LCD, plasma, and DLP. And guess what? They're all 1080p. Want more information about the items we highlight on the show? Then make sure you drop by our website at dottotech.com. You'll find details about the products we cover, episode descriptions, and lots of cool features.